Artists want great relationships with their managers, but the issues that we're dealing with today are boiling down to this trust, social media savvy and business infrastructure. Right now, both are physical and mental issues that we have to get through. But if you feel the need to run to a deal today with a manager and sign, at least wait until you view this video. Think about the mindset it will take for both parties to have to improve these skills before you jump the gun and sign. Music Money Makers, let's hop into today's episode of the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham, let's hop right in. Today's video comes courtesy of a Billboard article that I read um, in last month's issue and I compiled some of the issues together that I really like that these managers said, so let's hop into it. Number one is trust. Building trust with artists and treating others like human beings is a number one issue for Jesse Gosongo, Alexander, uh, and Phoebe Gold, all right, for Pink Panthers and Tommy Gold. Now, it takes at least one to two years to get an artist off the ground with little monetary return. It's an all or nothing investment. Alistair Raymond, which is uh, the manager for Arlo Parks, Lana Lubney and Amiso Extra. All right, and then you must believe your artists can achieve the future they envision and that you're the right team to help them get there. Heather Colker of uh, Muna, I don't know if I'm saying, butchering these names, Nana or Nana or of Monsters and Men. It's a manager for those artists right there. Um, so these are centered all around trust and all or nothing investment means you, you got to go all in and trust the situation. Having the right team means that the artist has to trust the team and then just building the trust itself is, is something that you have to get done with your managers. All right. If this does not happen, we do not grow. We do not grow to get to our next point, which is social media nativity, which is something that. A, a, a new word that I heard of that was really, really dope. While understanding the short, uh, short term content world is important for management, even more important is finding talent that is social media native. Ethan Curtis, Jake Coyle Ray, and I don't know how to say that. Don't judge me in the comments. I don't know how to say that last name, but if you do, just pronounce it in the comment section. This one is big because we're at about a 50% rate of artists who understand the importance of social media, which is why it's necessary and what it will do for their careers. The other half still don't understand it, are apprehensive about it, and are refusing to do it or are computer illiterate. So it's very important because if you don't trust me, we can't get to this step of social media. You got to trust me to, to depend on me to say, hey, look, I understand that you got some things that you want to do social media wise. And I got to trust that you are actually going to do it because a lot of people that I consult with are having artists who don't want to do social media or the people who are signing the artists don't want to do social media, don't understand social media. So they don't really know how to guide their artists on social media, which is, is silly to me. Like, how are you going to sign somebody? You know they need to use social media to get ahead in the game. You don't know how to use it yourself. And the artist is looking at you like, okay, what do I need to do social media wise? We got a problem because in a minute that artist is not going to trust you in what you're saying. So social media nativity is really best for both parties. All right. Now, business infrastructure. This is what I've been saying for years, man. The biggest challenge has always been setting a realistic pace that will allow for longevity. James, uh, I think Vitalo, I think that's a capital I, it's a typo. Vitalo, uh, Turnstile, Knock Loose, and Beach Fossils. We did everything we could for a long time and it built a damn good foundation. Don't I keep, I keep telling y'all about foundation. Madeline Mon Monchik. Uh, and then also forming such a valuable team was one of the greatest successes. Louise Villa Mizar for feed? I don't know, I don't know. All right. The biggest challenge is creating infrastructure around an artist to grow their businesses long term beyond music. Josh Marshall. All right. And that's for David and Ruby Rose. Now, without the business infrastructure, man, like managers are, are really moving towards building businesses with their artists before they even get to the label. But if they have success with it, they won't even try to go to a record label. They'll seek the investor because they already have the services that they need through the distributor. So there won't be any, any other need for anybody else. Business structure is important here. How do you build trust if you don't know each other? You want to get a sense from the manager and or artist and build out some small and medium sized goals to accomplish with each other so you can get a good feel of how trust can be built. If it feels good, keep going. If it doesn't, hop off the train before you sign. Just straight up. All right. Now, 
How do you become socially native if you're not? Most artists 30 and up still have remnants of the past where a false vision crosses the mind that the record label will do everything for you. Some who are younger are just lazy. However, you're going to have to decide that your career cannot scale and soar without social media and there is no way out but through this medium. Now, how do you build infrastructure? Well, infrastructure is all about building a company. This is the logistical stuff that many artists hate but love to spend money on and beg for more when they're broke. So if you want to last, you'll have to build a tight company along with your manager that generates livable cash flow to make it all worth your while. Now, this is a very tough job. And I'm going to say the manager isn't the only person that's going to help generate the cash flow. You are too. You got work to do as well. So you've got to understand how your company operates as well. So if you're that artist or that manager that needs to build a foundation for yourself or the artist, right, then I built something for you that will help you accomplish that in 60 days or less without you looking all over the internet for all the articles and the missing pieces to actually get it done in a timely fashion. This will allow you to build a robust company for yourself, ultimately allowing you to save 15% on that middleman who will take the cash flow from your business that you can put in your pocket by collecting your independent record and publishing royalties internationally and domestically yourself. Plus, you will learn how the game actually works with some contract knowledge via the contract templates within the course. All right. All the stuff you see in the right hand corner at the bottom is included within the course. Click the link below to get started today. But if you want to know more information, grab the free stuff below. 10 major steps to increase your record labels profits. A free split sheet is included with the download. Now, getting the three points correct will allow your team to grow exponentially so you can venture into other businesses and endeavors and have a fun go at the music industry. But not solidifying these points will cause the car to scrape along the ground, make your ride incredibly difficult and possibly cause you to give up early because it begins to get too difficult. So we want to be back here in this position. So if you were struggling with trust, the social media savvy, or the business infrastructure, at least you have some means and some better knowledge to understand where you need to go and the areas that you need to work on, and at least what managers are dealing with in today's day and age right here. Okay, all right, Music Money Makers. So if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com, jump into the 60-day record label course, Download the free stuff right down below. Book a call there and I'll see you next time. Peace.